Nice. On that one, you just want to note that tous. Did you notice I said tous? Okay. The reason is because um, one page, uh, two pages back, there's a section which talks about, is it one page back? Sorry, where is it? Um, just kidding. That is chapter 20. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's coming. Um, on that one, you want to just notice that uh, we, the pronunciation of fur, because it is a verb, right? Notice I didn't say the ENT, it's a verb. That funny looking verb, just so you know, it means was. Ah, don't worry about why. Any questions? I don't see any hands. Anyone have a question? Okay. Super. On continue. Numéro 12. Numéro 12. Le tabac lui donnait mal à l'estomac. Très bien. In my head, I can hear you. Great. Numéro 13. Le sol ici est plus compact. Excellent. Numéro 14. Tous les œufs étaient intacts. OK. Now we have les œufs, but I did create the liaison. Did you hear that? OK. Because I'm reading it, huh? Tous les œufs étaient intacts. Excuse me, it is intact, excuse me. Any question? That one's not fun. Jay, you look like you have a question. Ça va? <laughs> Ça va? Okay. Numéro 15. Les bœufs regardaient tout vers l'ouest. Très bien. Again, we say our fun eggs and this time our beefs. What do you call beefs? You don't say beefs. Cattle. That's what it is. Not beefs. Cattle. Ca so cows. Cows? You don't say cattle. The cows. Both. The cow. Cows from a herd type thing. Oh, yes. English. Um, les bœufs regardaient tout vers l'ouest. So all the cows were looking toward the west, l'ouest. Remember in French with the cardinal directions, we have est, ouest, sud. However, we have no, where you don't say the D. No, it's nord and not nord. Okay. Numéro 16. Ils sont montés jusqu'au sommet du pic. Okay, be mindful of number 16 that it is ils sont and not ils ont, okay? If we said, vas-y, Jim has a question. Let me just could, you, could you repeat that? It's, what's the difference? Yeah, if we said, now in this number 16, I should say ils sont, okay? I have two S's and in French, two S's is, makes the sound of so. And this is something that's worth writing. I'm going to just write it here on the screen. Okay. Um, so just remember en français, double S. I know what you're thinking. Double S, S, S. Yeah, you get it. Double S says, okay. Now, what happens in French, this actually happened today, I was in a private session with someone, and they said, they read it as, they said, ils ont. If you say ils ont, that means they had, okay? So, ils sont, this means they are, okay? And it is pronounced, ils sont. I'll let you figure out how to pronounce that, okay? This second one here, this, this means they have, and it is pronounced il zon. So what happens is between the two S's in the first one, it's il son because there's two S's. Even if even though the words are separated, there's still the sound s from the two S's. Okay, il son. And in the second one, you have one S, right? Because it's they, and then they have. Ils ont. Very different um, in the sense that the French speaker 
if you say, if you miss say that, like it will mean to, it, it actually changes the meaning. How fun. Ça va, ça? On continue. We're going to do two more and then we're going to move on. Um, numéro 17. Le chef du musée. Go ahead. Leur montrer des chefs d'oeuvre. Okay, which means the museum uh, head, the head of the museum showed, was showing them the masterpieces. Again, it, just to show you that that montre, M-O-N-T-R-A-I-T, that means he was showing them. The reason I'm, I'm saying some of this stuff is I know I have a few advanced people that they, they, um, they kind of know exactly what I'm saying. If it's flying over your head, that's okay because it's not level one French knowing the was. Now, if you get it, good for you. You've jumped yourself into level two. All right, and one more. Numéro 18. Mais le maïs n'est pas un produit de l'Est. Go ahead. Okay, making sure, isn't that fun to see me and maïs together, right? It says, but the corn is not a product from the East, right? Mais le maïs n'est pas un produit de l'Ouest. Bravo, mes amis. Fantastic. Not an easy exercise at all. If we have any left, time left on the last day, we'll, we'll finish those up. All right. Can you guys put your uh, voices back on? I feel lost, lonely, and cold over here in Canada. <laughs> voilà, super. Yeah. Okay. Um, for those Galaxy A tab, who is that? Is it? Oops. Hello, Galaxy A tab, Galaxy tab A. I don't know who you are. That's Howard. So who's the no, tab A is Howard. Okay. No, I thought he was the phone number. There, yeah, I have a phone number. 734-657-1847. Is that to Julia? Oh, la la. I feel so bad for not knowing. No. Ce n'est pas moi. We have mystery. Yeah. Great. No problem. Okay. Now we want to look at, uh, we're going to go into chapter... Uh, XXI, les liaisons, which we have all, and the nice thing about this is just in doing that first section, that first uh, chapter, we've already got into, um, we've got into do a bit of it. Um, to the person whose phone mm -hmm. number, 734, yeah, who is this? This is Howard. Yeah, Howard is the 734. Okay, so I'm not oh, sure. Oh, you're dialed in on a phone and on your iPad. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. Wonderful. All right. Liaisons in French. Before we jump into this, is there just any question about anything related to anything? No. Okay. We're good. Nope. All right. So I'm now on 46. So if you got the photocopies, it says Liaison 46. It says also page uh, 64. Has, has everyone got that? We? Oui. Okay. We're going to. Page 64? It's page 64 in the book, and uh, but it's section 46 of chapter 21. I don't understand how they made the divisions in this book. <laughs> okay, thanks. Liaison, super. Now this is cool because um, the general rule about liaisoning in French is this. When you speak French, um, naturally there's going to be less liaison. Liaison uh, just means to link or to create relationship between words. And when you're speaking French, there's a bit less liaison. Liaison is more, the more formal your speech, the more important is the liaison. So for example, if I'm giving a, a how do you say, discours or a, a lecture? Thank you. If you're giving a lecture or a speech, that's what I wanted, or a speech, you're going to normally, it's something you've memorized or you're reading. So you're going to have more liaison. It's going to be more linked and it's going to be, more beautiful uh, for in French simply because those thoughts have been premeditated, if that makes sense. But naturally, when you're talking and it's it's spontaneous, there's a little there. It's okay to have a little bit less liaison because really the thoughts are coming. They may not be planned thoughts, and so you may not use the word because you may not know exactly what word you're going to say next. Okay, just so you know. So the more formal your text, the more formal the situation, the more liaison. Okay. 
However, in French, there are some that are quite obligatory. Obligatory? You guys say that? Obligatoire? Yeah. yeah. Obligatoire, like you sure. have to. All right. This, will, this should move fairly fast because um, we've been able to um, see some of these in our examples. We're going to keep our microphones on and you're going to re um, repeat the examples when I say them. So first of all, in French, we have liaisons between articles and nouns. Répétez après moi. Don't worry about the interruptions. Just go ahead and keep your mic on. Répétez. Les amis. Les, les amis. amis. Les hôtels. Les, les hôtels. hôtels. Aux hommes. Aux, Aux hommes. Des arbres. Des, des arbres. arbres. Okay. And noticing that that sound is a link is a Z. And if I were you, I would, I would maybe just like, I can't do that as easily by hand. I can try and just do it really quickly here. When you, <laughs> you don't know I'm writing backwards. <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. Mama. What I would do is when you're, as you're doing liaison, especially the exercises, I don't, can you see that a little bit? No. Not really, it's too small, too far. Um, so all I want to say is um, that when you're doing your exercises and you're writing in the liaisons, can you see this a little better? No. Can you see it at all? No. Maybe thicker and darker. Last try, not a give up. Can you see that at all? Even a little bit. It's the glare, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You no, know, it's not backwards. It's not? You guys see it the right way? Yeah. Yeah, you have to write it the right forward? Right forward. Okay. I, I wasn't sure because mm -hmm. when I did a recording earlier and I recorded it recorded it backward to me. Okay. Super. <laughs> so, that, that's really good. You guys think I'm crazy. Now my next question. Yeah, we do, actually. <laughs> can you see, can you see the so. on the board? Is my question. That's tougher. It no. is a. It's a tough. You have to write something thicker. Okay. Yeah, we can't. We can't see it, and the, you're too small on the camera as well. Yeah. If you double click on on her picture, she goes full screen. No, oh, okay. I don't even see her. Got it. Disappeared. Got it. No. Go, go to exit your full screen, then double click her picture. Yeah. Now I see you. Okay. And I only want to show you one thing. It actually is worth the writing. Yeah. If I could type this, uh, I would. All I want to show you is that when you do your exercises uh, this this uh, this weekend on liaison, if you could please put write the sound. Can you see that Z? I've written write yes. the sound. Yes. So on some of these, you're going to have le Z. It's going to be les amis. Okay. In the other example of they are, you had il. Your liaison letter, your linking sound was so. All I'm saying is when you do the exercises, if you could please indicate what that linking sound is. That's all I wanted to show you, um, which I couldn't uh, type as easily on my screen. Just wanted to show you that, okay? If you could please do that, um, it, it's good for the brain. Okay, super. On continue, 46.2. We have liaison between adjective and noun if the adjective comes first. So, répétez après moi. Les gros arbres. Les, Les gros, gros arbres. arbres. Un petit avion. Un, Un petit, petit avion. Très bien. 46.3. Between personal pronoun and the verb. Okay, personal pronouns is the je, tu, il, elle, on. Okay. So, répétez après moi. Ils ont. Ils, Ils ont. ont. On écoute. On, on écoute. écoute. On les écoute. On les écoute. If you're wondering what on les écoute means, it means we, we listen, listen to them. them. Okay, in French, the syntax says we them listen. We to them listen. That's the French syntax. That's normal French syntax. Okay, uh, we go, go on. Next, next one. Nous en avons. Nous en avons. Okay, which means we, of, we some of them have. We have some. That's what that means. In case you're, you're curious. Nous en avons. Uh, répétez. Vaut-il? Vaut-il? Now listen carefully to this next one. Vont-il? Vont-il? In French, you are liaisoning D to another vowel. The sound is a T sound, not 